Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Many of you may be going through a trial, so I thought I would post a storybook moment. We have a gospel radio program, and I do songs and sermons and storybook moments, and my mom has her sermons on there. She started that gospel radio program many years ago, in the early 2000s, I believe. So I thought this storybook moment might speak to you. Stay tuned for Teacup. Listen to the story of the teacup. There was a couple that used to go to England to shop in the beautiful stores. They both liked antiques and pottery especially teacups. This was their 25th wedding anniversary. One day, in a beautiful shop, they saw an exquisite teacup. They asked the clerk, May we see that? We've never seen one quite so lovely. As the lady handed it to them, suddenly, the teacup spoke. You don't understand, it said. I haven't always been a teacup. There was a time when I was red and I was clay. My master took me and rolled me and patted me over and over and I yelled out, Let me alone! But he only smiled and said, Not yet. Then I was placed on a spinning wheel and suddenly spun around and around and around. Stop it! I'm getting dizzy, I screamed. But the master only nodded and said, Not yet. Then he put me in the oven. I never felt such heat. I wondered why he wanted to burn me, and I yelled and knocked at the door. I could see him through the opening, and I could read his lips as he shook his head. Not yet. Finally, the door opened. He put me on a shelf, and I began to cool down. There, that's better, I said, and he brushed and painted me all over. The fumes were horrible. I thought I would gag. Stop it, stop it, I cried. He only nodded, not yet. Then suddenly he put me back into the oven, not like the first one. This was twice as hot, and I knew I would suffocate. I begged, I pleaded. I screamed, I cried. All the time I could see him through the opening, nodding his head, saying, Not yet. Then I knew there wasn't any hope. I would never make it. I was ready to give up. But the door opened, and he took me out and placed me on a shelf. One hour later, he handed me a mirror and said, Look at yourself. And I did. I said, That's not me. That couldn't be me. It's beautiful. I'm beautiful. I want you to remember then, he said. I know it hurts to be rolled and patted, but if I had left you alone, you'd have dried up. I know it made you dizzy to spin around on the wheel, but if I had stopped, you would have crumbled. I knew it hurt and was hot and disagreeable in the oven, but if I hadn't put you there, you would have cracked. I know the fumes were bad when I brushed and painted you all over, but if I hadn't done that, you never would have hardened. You would not have held. Now you are a finished product. You are what I had in mind when I first began with you. Jeremiah 18.6 Behold, like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. Author Unknown